And it's not only for these deep life issues, it's for even the minute things that if you let it pile up, it can become daunting. For instance, stress. Mm. Stress right. is, um, can, can show up in any number of ways, in any number of, of um, manifestations. Obviously, uh, as you know, as a physician, what is it, like 80 something percent of, of, of health issues are linked in some way to unresolved stress. Yeah. So, and, uh, so the point is, when people come to us, they might say my problem is I want to quit smoking or I, you know, I'm overweight, I need to stop eating junk food and, and bread. Um, someone else might say, you know, I, uh, my, my mother passed away and I'm, I'm, I can't seem to move on, I can't stop thinking about it. Um, and yet all those areas are stress related. The person is stressed, which is one reason, the primary reason they're smoking or they have trouble quitting smoking, why they're overeating. If the person is stressed by the trauma, the emotional trauma of the death or the event that they experienced, it could be a rape, it could be something major like that, or it could just be, I feel overwhelmed because I have to feed a family of three, and I have to pay a mortgage, and I might get fired. And, and I so, hate my job, even I if I don't job. get fired, which happens a lot. Right, or, or maybe I'm doing work, but it's not what I really want to do, right. and I feel like I'm wasting my life, and so I feel this ongoing stress or... Uh, uneasiness that something's wrong and so people come in with different words to describe it but most of it is stress so first of all when someone is stressed it means there's some form of internal conflict a part of them feels like they should be doing something but they feel like they can't do it or they are driven to do something in contrast I know I should eat healthier but I keep eating junk food I know I should just relax because you know I'm not gonna uh, no one's gonna shoot me if I make a mistake when I give my presentation but I'm terrified of doing so if you're right. in public speaking, you know, I know logically I'm not going to crash in the airplane because it's safer than driving. Certainly in Miami it is. And, <laughs> right? yes. and yet, and yet I get nervous when I book that ticket. So this is all various forms of stress. There are different names for it, but ultimately that shows there's something that's imbalanced in the perception of the person. So if someone feels stressed, that means there's an imbalance in the way they're perceiving their life themselves or their reality and their external environment. And once, and what we do is we help people align their mind and remove that internal resistance, establish a state of single-mindedness and congruency around their goals, and that's done simply through, facilitated through a hypnotic state. Hypnosis by itself doesn't fix any of that. It's simply a methodology that facilitates uh, personal transformation.